the invention that changed everything, how John Ambrose Fleming's thermionic valve sparked the modern age. What if I told you that the world as we know it, our hyper-connected, digitally driven reality, began with a single groundbreaking invention in 1904? Imagine a time before televisions, computers, or even reliable long-distance communication. It was an era when science and technology were taking their first tentative steps into uncharted territory. Then came November 16, 1904, a date that would forever change the trajectory of humanity. On that day, English engineer John Ambrose Fleming received a patent for the thermionic valve, or what we now call the vacuum tube. This unassuming device became the cornerstone of the electronics revolution, a bridge between the industrial age and the digital era. But how did this invention come about and why is it so important? Sit tight as we unravel the story of one man's genius, the challenges he faced, and the transformative impact of the thermionic valve on the modern world. At the dawn of the 20th century, the world was buzzing with innovation. The Industrial Revolution had ushered in an age of machinery and mass production, and pioneers like Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla were illuminating cities with electric light. But amidst this wave of progress, there was one frontier that remained largely untamed, wireless communication. While Guglielmo Marconi had made headlines by transmitting the first transatlantic wireless signal in 1901, the technology was still in its infancy. The need for a way to amplify and clarify electrical signals was becoming increasingly urgent. Without such an advancement, the dream of global communication would remain just that, a dream. Born in 1849 in Lancaster, England, John Ambrose Fleming was a man ahead of his time. His insatiable curiosity and methodical approach to problem solving earned him a reputation as one of the most brilliant electrical engineers of his era. Fleming's career was marked by collaborations with some of the greatest minds of his time, including Thomas Edison, whose work on incandescent lamps introduced him to the phenomenon of thermionic emission, a key principle that would later underpin his most famous invention. By the early 1900s, Fleming had become the scientific advisor to Marconi's wireless telegraph company, where he encountered firsthand the challenges of weak wireless signals. He was determined to find a solution. Fleming's breakthrough came when he revisited experiments conducted by Edison. Edison had observed that an electric current could flow between a heated filament and a metal plate inside a vacuum, a phenomenon he dubbed the Edison effect. While Edison saw little practical use for this discovery, Fleming recognized its potential. Through rigorous experimentation, Fleming developed a device with two electrodes, a heated filament, cathode, and a metal plate, a node, enclosed in a vacuum. This device allowed electric current to flow in only one direction, effectively converting alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC. More importantly, it could amplify weak electrical signals, a capability that had profound implications for communication technology. On November 16, 1904, Fleming was granted a patent for the thermionic valve. This simple yet ingenious invention was the world's first vacuum tube and the first true electronic device. The impact of Fleming's thermionic valve was immediate and far-reaching. For the first time, engineers could amplify radio signals, making wireless communication more reliable and accessible. This innovation laid the groundwork for the rapid expansion of radio broadcasting, which would dominate the 1920s and 1930s. Radio stations could now transmit clearer, stronger signals over greater distances, bringing music, news, and entertainment into millions of homes. But the vacuum tube didn't stop at radio. It became the cornerstone of television technology, enabling the transmission of moving images and transforming the way people experience the world. By the mid-20th century, vacuum tubes were powering everything from military radar systems to long-distance telephone lines, revolutionizing communication on a global scale. And then came computing. Early computers like the ENIAC, built in the 1940s, relied on thousands of vacuum tubes to perform calculations. Though bulky and prone to overheating, these machines marked the beginning of the digital age. Without Fleming's invention, the development of modern computers would have been delayed by decades. Perhaps the most significant legacy of the thermionic valve lies in its role as a precursor to the transistor, invented in 1947. Transistors, which are smaller, more efficient, and more reliable than vacuum tubes, became the building blocks of modern electronics. From microchips to smartphones, 
Every piece of digital technology we use today traces its lineage back to Fleming's humble invention. Think about that for a moment. The next time you send a text, stream a video, or navigate with GPS, you're benefiting from a technological lineage that began on November 16, 1904. Fleming's thermionic valve wasn't just an invention, it was the spark that ignited a revolution. Fleming's journey wasn't without its challenges. In the early 20th century, the concept of electronics was so new that many people struggled to grasp its potential. Fleming had to overcome skepticism from his peers, as well as technical hurdles in refining his device, but he persisted, driven by a vision of a world transformed by the power of electricity. This story is a testament to the importance of perseverance and vision in the face of uncertainty. Fleming didn't invent the vacuum tube in isolation, his work built on the discoveries of others, from Edison to Faraday, yet it was his ability to see the bigger picture, to connect the dots between theory and application, that made his invention possible. Why does this story matter today? Because Fleming's invention embodies the spirit of innovation that drives humanity forward. The thermionic valve wasn't just a technological breakthrough, it was a catalyst for connection. It made it possible for people to communicate across vast distances, to share ideas and experiences, and to build a more interconnected world. This spirit of connection is more relevant than ever in our digital age. From the internet to artificial intelligence, the technology shaping our future owe a debt to Fleming's work. His invention reminds us that even the most complex systems start with a simple idea, and that one person's vision can change the course of history. John Ambrose Fleming may not be a household name, but his contribution to humanity is immeasurable. The thermionic valve was more than an invention. It was the key that unlocked the door to the modern world. It transformed communication, computation, and countless other fields, paving the way for the technological wonders we take for granted today. So what can we learn from Fleming's story? That innovation often begins with curiosity and a willingness to tackle the unknown. That the greatest breakthroughs come from seeing possibilities where others see problems. And that the impact of a single invention can ripple through history, touching lives in ways the inventor could never have imagined. If you're as fascinated by this story as I am, there's so much more to discover. Check out the links in the description and the first pinned comment for books and resources that delve deeper into Fleming's life and the incredible legacy of the thermionic valve. These books offer a window into the minds of the inventors who shaped our world, and they might just inspire you to tackle your own challenges with the same spirit of ingenuity. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think is the most transformative invention in history? Let's start a conversation about the power of innovation and the people who make it happen. Thank you for watching and remember, behind every piece of technology lies a story worth telling. Let's keep exploring them together.